I plugged it up again. Yes, you heard that correctly. I plugged the combine up again. This is the life of a combine driver. It's not as glamorous as they tell you. probably got a bunch of dirt in the head, we'll have to look at it, and it won't feed up past that dirt. When I get up here, we'll look at it. That's why you don't put the heads on the ground. I had a big dirt pile, though. Yeah, I know, because you weren't paying attention. Yep. What did you say, Austin? You don't know how to clean the dirt out of the header. No, never so you're, really do that. No, you never had to do that. So you're asking for my expertise on this subject. Well, I can in fact stand here and provide great instruction for you. That's nice. Uh, good. Yeah, did you hear what Austin said? He said, Kate, you know, I've never done this before. I don't know how to do it. I think that you'll have to. You'll have to teach him. Yeah, and I told him I could instruct from right there. Push it so what we're what we do is we get it out of this area and we push it here. You, you just dump it there yeah, or? throw as much of it out as you can. But yeah. no, yeah, but it works if you get it here because it can go down this hole too. Trust me, I just got done doing this. You need you'll need to take a pass in this with Arvid after yeah, we do this. Yeah, I did. I plugged mine up two times with dirt the same day on our last day of harvest. I had a 35 foot header and the hill kept going like this. Okay, dig. I mean, you can talk, but dig. There's quite a bit of this in here. And you got to get it off this whole belt, too. You want it right here so it goes directly out. All right, I'll push it down. This windy day is the day you want to do this. This is my favorite job on the farm. No, I know, but there's more dirt in here that you have to get to by getting. Yeah, there's dirt down here. These things really itch your arms. What are they made out of? It, it, it's the it's pulverized stock of the wheat. It's wheat? Yeah, it's the stock. When it gets pulverized, it turns into starch. Yeah, it's no wonder. Like fiberglass. Barley's worse by a lot. No, I know, but this like thing. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, but they already touched my arms. Okay, you do the throwing, Austin. I'll do the moving. Yeah, when you see the little dust piles on either side, pick it up a couple notches till you don't see them. Scared me. Oh, it could kind of fall out under there. Yeah, that's where we were putting it. But it's in my eyes. That's okay. You can clean it out later. Yeah, do they not? I've got a lot of slivers. That's why I wear long sleeves all the time. Yeah, but then you sweat to death. Yeah, I also wear pajama bottoms. And a hazmat suit. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye, Arvid. You're welcome. Finished digging out Arvid's combine and I'm filled with dirt now. Dad, you need to get in my combine next. I plugged it up again. Yes, you heard that correctly. I plugged the combine up again. You've got to come check out my combine next. Okay. I don't want to dig it out anymore. This would be the third combine today I dig out. I'm not a fan. There's no way this isn't plugged up with wheat. There is no way. And I'm going to be so upset if it is. Yep, it's plugged with dirt again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This isn't working out for me. You know what makes me so upset? I can see it! I'm picking up dirt. So I pick the header up and 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 it plugs. Like look at this. This is all dirt. This crown I've been talking about. It goes with the edge of a strip. Oh, I wasn't taught that. Because you're running the middle.
middle of the crown. Thing. Right, so that's when it's on you. This is my favorite part of today. Yeah, it's crowning. Right, and the wheels are... Don't you especially like this when you've got 50 mile per hour winds? Yeah. I plugged the header again. I thought we were supposed to be harvesting wheat, not dirt. <laughs> harvesting wheat, not dirt, that's a good plan. That's the only time it ever plugs up? Yeah. Oh, it good yeah. This is the life of a combine driver. It's not as glamorous as they tell you. Of course, remember the bar? Oh, remember that one year you were only digging your header out and I drove by and waved at you? Wow. <laughs> and that's the worst. I haven't had to dig my head around yeah, barley. Right here. Look, you're, you're picking stuff that lives on the ground. See what I mean? Yeah. Do we need to lower the head in this? I have never run my combine, plugged it up with a crop. I've only used it as a bulldozer on the occasion. Yeah. There's gobs of them. There's like five strips of them. I know about the humps, but I didn't know about the move your header to the side. Well, you got to figure out which side. Look, wait a little bit. Give it a touch up. I'm just really itchy. We're running along at 3233. That's what these heads can pick this up at. Pretty clean the way they are. Third, going too slow. Well, it's a road game now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You got to see a little bit of the trials and tribulations that happen on our farm and many farms for that matter. Make sure to like and subscribe. And you can visit the KTEG website, K-A-T-E-S-A-G.com, and purchase a made and grown in the USA KTEG shirt. Dad's not wearing his today, but he loves it I'm also. I'm wearing KTEG, Dad. <laughs> and you can follow KTEG on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on TikTok, Facebook, and Pinterest. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.